around here, New England weather, hit black ice late at night when you don't expect it, it could be deadly. So please, uh, do yourself a favor and your family. Go to Central Connecticut's number one tire source. That is Tire Depot. They got Cooper Tires, Michelin, BF Goodrich, Hankook. We all have them here on the Rob Dibble Show, including my wife. And then even Mike Crispino and many, many other people around ESPN Radio have them as well. His team is waiting for you right now just off Route 6 in Bristol at Betting Barn, or right behind Betting Barn, online at TireDepotCT.com. This is a simple question because I heard it and I was like, Dave Roberts, please stop talking. Really? Because you're brutal. Uh, did Dave Roberts cost the Dodgers uh, Shohei Otani? Absolutely not. But did you let the cat out of the bag? Absolutely. The general manager of the Dodgers today said, we're not in negotiations with Otani and his agent. Um, they don't even want to talk about it. But Dave Roberts at the winter meetings, because these guys are not like, you know, uh, I don't even want to say public figures, but they're not so used to hiding facts from the media like other people are. So when you're asked a a specific question, you usually give a specific answer. He was asked, uh, were you guys talking to Shohei Otani? He's like, oh, yeah, we said they're talking to him for like two, three hours. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything, you know. I mean, so yeah, he tried to backtrack and save himself. Um, but listen, I just I, I think Dave Roberts is an honest person, and if you really like the Dodgers, I don't think it's an issue because I think you're negotiating with every team right now as a free agent. ESPN.com article by our friend Buster Olney. Shohei Otani's secretive free agency is a missed opportunity for him and MLB. That's the title of the article. First couple of lines. Somebody should ask Shohei Otani a really simple question about his free agency. What's the point with all the secrecy? I'll give you a real simple answer. He's Japanese. Um, It's a part of their culture. They do not like to stand out or stick out or be the focal point of everyone's attention. and. They don't need the spotlight shown on them. This is his prerogative, man. Yeah. And if anyone has any kind of juice in this league, uh, this guy does. He's well, going to he do whatever he goes, the hell he wants. He, he's got the you know the power right now. And most free agents in his situation that are the top free agents, um, you, you've got the hammer. And right now, you don't need to let anybody know what your business is. I don't. I don't understand the article by Buster. How's he I, hurting the league? He's not hurting the league. He's he's, the league he's not responsible for for helping the league. No. He's responsible for securing his future, his family's future, um, and making the best deal. A. Where is he going to be happy playing? We know the money. Yes, it's in the article. You talk about he's going to make a lot of money. Yes, he's earned that. He's one of the first players since Babe Ruth 100 years ago that is carrying the league as as far as doing pitching and hitting. No other player is capable of doing what he's doing. A couple years ago at the All-Star Game, he did everything that was asked of him. He doesn't need to go into free agent and treat it like uh, it's a Broadway show. Everybody come watch this. Everybody come be a part of this. That's not what free agency is about. This is a personal thing. This is a business thing. And I, I have no problem with this guy until he's ready to come out and be like, I picked the Yankees, I picked the Red Sox, I picked the Dodgers. It's his business and his business alone. It's not. It's none our business. It's none your business. Remember the story I just gave you about uh, Yuzuro Hanyu? Everybody loves Hanyu. Hanyu, the, the figure skater over there for <laughs> China that uh, oh, yeah. just got divorced because... The, For her safety. Her, she yeah. was getting so much hate mail, death threats. Her whole family was being fa- followed that for their sake, he divorced her just to keep the heat off. And this is just another example of how much yep. the Asian culture really values privacy. Yes. I mean, you can talk about Ichiro if you want. So many people have so many questions of Ichiro still to this day, and you think that because you know he's every, such a private person. He is right. so private. Like, I can't think of a Japan baseball player or an Asian-American athlete that doesn't have this kind of fabric in their system of valuing their privacy. Well, I, I I think listen in this in this world today, especially in this country, and we've been this way for decades, where we think everything's about us. We're a, a very self-centered society. 
Um, look at me, look at me, you know, and especially especially celebrities. Like, let's just take rock stars, movie stars, whatnot. Um, you know, when they're either coming out with a new album or a new movie or a book, um, they will do some kind of salacious event centered around that to create a buzz. And that's anti Asian culture. They don't want the buzz. They don't want to draw attention to, to certain things. And something as big and monumental as, because we, we don't understand this, um, he plays for an entire country. He doesn't play for the Angels. He plays for Japan. And all of these other players that are from, you know, Korea or Japan, uh, Chan Ho Park. I mean, we talked about his military and uh, him, you know, by winning a medal during the Olympics, kept him from having to serve in the military for two years. I mean, could you imagine the pressure of some of these athletes and what's what's put upon them? So we we don't fathom that. We don't we don't we don't understand that. And for for these cultures, it's totally understood by what Shohei's doing right now. Um, because he knows that there's ramifications. There's like waves and waves that are going to come in the wake of, of what he does right here. And it's, and it's if he makes the wrong decision. And, and part of that decision is revolving around Japan. I remember when I agree, Matsui yeah. signed with the Yankees. I remember yep. when um, you know, uh, Daisuke Matsuzaka signed with the, the Red Sox. Remember, their entire country is going to watch every game they play. They're going to wake up like in Seattle when Ichiro played there. Um, and he wasn't the only one. You had Suzuki was an all-star closer that was there. Their, their entire country you know, revolves around these athletes in America. That's how much they're revered. So, yeah, we, we think we're just you know, the, these you know, self-centered you know, capitalist pigs that we are here in this country. You know, hey, everybody cares about what we're doing. You know, not every not every country and every society is like ours. I find it great. I, I think this is just another part of the mystique of Mr. Shohei Otani. I love that, that only's annoyed. I, I think that's what it really is. Yeah, he, like this oh, guy, he won't call me back. I know. He won't give Dude, me an exclusive interview. Take a break. Um, the one thing I heard this morning as well is that there's a lot to do with the rehab and how Ichiro wants it to go as far as the negotiation is concerned with each team. It's like Ichiro wants to do his you mean Otani? Or, excuse me, gosh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at a lot of it's Ichiro okay. stuff. But yeah. i got Japanese baseball. But Otani wants his own rehab schedule. But I'm sure Ichiro's probably advising him as well. I mean, that's another thing that was in there that I, I kind point. of felt like, how do you know he's getting bad advice? How, how do you know this isn't good advice? Maybe, maybe not publicly negotiating a contract is a good thing. I just think that... Otani does not trust us, and I totally I agree either. with that. Yes, I don't either. Look, I wouldn't look, trust so any reporter, any team, any by doctor him from any not team. Giving any information out, look at what he's doing to these people. Oh yeah, they're, they're all twisted crazy. in knots wow. because how dare you not tell us everything about yourself? If we found out the name of his dog, I just want to know the name of his dog. Is it Slugger? Is it Strikeout? Is it Boomer? <laughs> Lefty. You're nailing it right now. All right, Wasabi? let's get into it. Wasabi. Are the Orioles going to sign Craig Gimbrel? Is he going to be back in Boston playing wow. against the Red Sox? Uh, Verdugo, will he actually stay with the Yankees? Ooh. There's being reported right now that they're very close to signing and trading for Juan Soto. Soto's team. Let me refresh. Oh, he's still a Padre as of now. Yeah. Hold on. Let me refresh. Also, oh, the Guardians looking to move some people. Maybe uh, Justin Bieber. I mean, Shane.